Greetings once again, Pirates on the High Seas. Dudes Diz Din back again with another episode of One Piece, where previously, after an attempt to save a shipwrecked jewelry Bonnie goes awry, with Luffy and Chopper falling into the sea, all three Devil Fruit users and unable to swim, best boy Jinbei goes diving in because fish man swimming in roughest waters just makes a lot of sense. But they end up split off from the rest of the crew on, and on the nearby island of Egghead, informed as such by Jewelry Bonnie. Meanwhile, the rest of the crew ends up dealing with the giant mechanical shark that initially went after them, with the Thousand Sunny ending up capsized. And despite how strong a lot of our crew is, drowning is still a thing only for them to be saved by a giant mechanical robot who punches away the shark and saves the Sunny, with the pilot being a young girl with a uh, very form-fitting bodysuit who reveals to the crew that she is none other than Dr. Vegapunk. Fairly odd since Vegapunk has already always been referred to as a male, but then again so was Yamato. Meanwhile, at G14, the marine base of Vice Admiral Doll, and what a doll she is, where the kids from Punk Hazard are being looked after by Toshigi, the members of S.W.O.R.D. are having a meeting. Helmetto and Habari beg Prince Gruss, Rear Admiral, and I believe current highest ranking member of S.W.O.R.D. to go and rescue Kobe from the Hachinosu, full of lead, beehive island, whatever you want to call it, and from the clutch is a blackbeard, but Gruss is unwilling, as their commander, Drake, has gone missing, oddly enough, which doesn't make a lot of sense, because it didn't seem as though he was dying towards the end of the Battle of Onigashima, but we didn't see him after the fact something we're still wondering even in terms of the manga. But we also know that they're currently very close to Egghead. Much is going on in the waters of Egghead and around it, and with so many conflicts slowly bubbling to the surface, what will Luffy and the gang find themselves caught up into? Especially meeting with the long, anticipated, and fabled Vegapunk. Join me as I find out, won't you? Man, this is still such a banger of an opening. Hmm. Bring with the future. An adventure on the island of science. Science? My least favorite subject. What? That Vegapunk? You guys are so noisy. Vegapunk, I respect you. <laughs> Fanboy, I spent two years at the lab in your home. Baltimore, there are so many things that I want to show you. Hey, my dream. Giant robot. I wonder how many times bigger than the General Frankie it is. I wish Luffy and Chopper were here to see it. Right? But... Uh-oh. So many different reactions. Yep. Beautiful. Vegapunk is a beautiful lady. Let me see your panties. <laughs> panties cute. A giant robot. Super. <laughs> They're all freaking out. Wait, what's wrong, Robin? I never heard of Vegapunk being a woman. Yeah. Oh yeah, Vegapunk is said to have the biggest brain in the world. Of course not. There's no way I'm Stella. Oh. Oh. Did we drop that reference this early on? The Stella reference. Huh, interesting. I'm Punk Zero Two. <laughs> Shh, flash that titty. Vegapunk Lilith. Vegapunk Evil Lilith. I uh, love the little text for the names and stuff. Punk O2, Dr. Vegapunk. Lilith. Punk Zero Two. A beauty. My research budget is always tight. Hand over your valuables. Then I'll be done with you guys. What? What are you talking about? The sea is freezing here. You saved us from drowning, so follow through. <laughs> of course, Nami perks up when money's involved. I didn't mean to save you. It is essentially impossible for a ship to enter this area. If you try, these guys will sink you and you'll be dead. Yep, as it turns out, you're surrounded. God, the sea beast weapons. These sea beast weapons. Oh wow, I actually remembered the name. <laughs> I didn't think I'd actually remember the full name of what they're called. I mean, it's not the hardest thing to remember, but still. Sea Beast Weapons. Cool. Now I'm, more, I'm scared more than excited. Oh no. Robin, lions and tigers and bears, oh my. If you don't want to get sunk, just hand over your valuables. <laughs> more piratey than the pirates. Okay. Ring, ring. Hey, Liv, what are you doing? Oh wow, Shaka sounds a lot closer to Zoro than I thought he would. Oh, I shouldn't have given away his name. Ah well, let's see, uh, voice for Mest in Fairy Tale. I'm looking for the ones that I mostly know. <laughs> Hawkeye in Rise of Technovore. Oh yeah. Uh, Juko in Naruto Shippuden. Huh, I'll be honest, mostly a 
bit player in a lot of stuff. At least a lot of stuff that I've watched. Biggs in Final Fantasy Remake, eh. There's a lot of voice work for Chris Pine dubs. Huh, wait, number five in Codename Kids Next Door. Did they dub number five as a dude? Weird. Yeah, no, wow. Not, not a lot of really notable voices. Yeah, well, Shaka, shut up. I'm just doing what I what I do always. Pondering again? Have some pride as a scientist. Pride won't get me more budget. Who is she talking to? Don't get all high and mighty on me. They won't surrender. <laughs> the good. They're the straw hat. The captain just became an emperor of the sea. I know. An emperor must have tons of treasure. God, she's such a Nami character. If that's what you want, you made a mistake. A mistake? I tactically surrounded them with sea base. There's no way out. No, you're underestimating them. Look at the swordsman on the ship. His bounty is 1 billion 1100 million berries. I mean, 111 million berries. Pirate Hunter Zoro. He's calm because he knows he can kill you in an instant from there. The even child Nikoraba behind him is the same. But how could they fight against uh, as many sea beast weapons? The strong figure out who they need to take down first. You're the one who's in trouble. Those noisy fools are decoys? Cool. I dropped my guard. Hey Vegapunk, I need you to agree with our demands. Okay. Are you threatening me? That's fine. Bring them here. I'm interested in that group. Haha, <laughs> Vegapunk 01. I mean, Punk 01, Dr. Vegapunk, Shaka the Good. There's a whole lot of punks up in this place. Is this the right way? Are you sure? How far are you willing to go, Bonnie? God. Actually getting to see them hang out with Bonnie. Have you ever been here before? Yeah, when I was a child. Uh, it was just an ordinary lab back then. Yeah. Back then, long, long time ago. And what did you come back for? <laughs> Bonnie, you said you had business with Vegapunk. Depending on his answer, I may kill him. <laughs> hey, what happened? My father was turned into a cyborg by Vegapunk. A cyborg? That's cool. Screw you. He lost all sense of himself now. Yeah, he doesn't even know who he is. He became nothing more than a living weapon. Yeah, that's quite disturbing. And I'll make him pay for it. I'm sorry, Bogey. Oh, Bonnie. I'm sorry, Bonnie. Just climb. I think we can get to the surface. Okay, what are you guys gonna do? It's up to our captain, but first we must find the rest of our crew. I see. Hmm. Shining from above, I'll make him pay. What the fuck? Is that a whale? Oh, we're almost there. I can't wait to see the future island. Wait for me, food. We made it to the surface. Ah, uh, this is gonna be fun. All right, let's find food. Let's see, what's out there? <laughs> Helping the young lady up. I'll come with you. Yeah, I saw Sabo at Mary Jo. Oh well, <laughs> not gonna fill him in. Oh. Don't really have a lot of time for that. Ooh. <laughs> of course it's CG. Of course it would be computer generated. Especially when you find out a lot of the stuff that go around on around here. It's like the Jetsons. Oh man. And I knew they were gonna have fun showing this off. Whale. Whale. <laughs> Monster. Robot. <laughs> Yo, what is this place? I didn't think the ground had this weird green texture to it either. Huh. Oh, these eye catchers are fun. Future Island Egghead. Oh, beam! I still don't know why this is going on. <laughs> what is this stuff? Man, <laughs> they went all in on the CG. Well, it doesn't look too bad. A giant robot. What is all this? A space monster. So many things are flying. Cool. Okay, I'm gonna ride that thing. If you be careful. Hey, we're intruders. Gum gum. Listen. Rocket. Oh, what? Oh. Oh um, no 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 no! If he got swallowed, <laughs> it's a hologram. Oof! Are you okay, Luffy? I warned you. Uh, I thought I was swallowed. It would have been like the umpteenth time Luffy's gotten swallowed in this series. Hey, are you okay? See, what's wrong with him? Why does he want to work up even more of an appetite? What? what? Don't tell me that's a giant parfait. Food. Cookies. Fruit. Hey, what are you, you doing? Where are you going? It must be a trap. <laughs> God. All sharing the same brain cell. I'll dig in. Also a hologram. <laughs> Immediately pissed. <laughs> really? Again. You're not gonna do What's going on? <laughs> My hand's passing through. What is this? It's there, but I can't touch it. It makes me even more hungry. I can't eat it. <laughs> Growl. Don't tell me we... Huh, Luffy, did we die without realizing it? No. Are we dead? Wait a minute, Luffy. Shut up. I'm dead now. There's no way you are. Then why is this happening? And not because we're ghosts. Seems like... I thought so. This parfait is a hologram. Hollow, hollow, hologram. How can we eat it? You can't. Oh, uh, well, to put it simply, this parfait isn't real. Then give me a real one. <laughs> I'm hungry, where is it? He's too he's too simple for this, Jimbei. He's a country boy. I don't know, but one thing that is for sure is there's no food here. <laughs> so there is none? Oh god, what? 
Did he just go gear fifth over that? Or somewhere in between? I, I know he has a god form, but I didn't think a Super Saiyan god. <laughs> Why is he red? There's no way to keep they keep food here that conveniently. I've never seen a hologram before. I can't believe it. It's unforgivable. A three-dimensional image produced by light. It's like something out of a comic strip or fantasy. An image? God, he looks like Night Guy. How dare it fool me. What's, what's there? Isn't there a damn holo holo? Oh, that's why I passed through that space monster? That giant robot must be a hologram too. No one could make something like that. I mean, uh, yeah, give it a bit and you'll actually see one. If you're gonna make something, why don't you make food? Hey, look at this. What's this? There's pictures of food and buttons. Don't you just see it? I get it. Everything's fake on this island. What should I do then? I don't know. I just noticed. This place is so warm even though the sea around here was extremely cold. Oh, yeah. This is a tropical island. Here she comes. Best girl. What? This is undoubtedly a winter island though. The reason this place is warm is due to the island AC I created. Who's she voiced by? Kind of sounds familiar, but at the same time, not so much. So far, Lilith is the only one with a voice actress I recognize, Aya Hirana. And I, that made me think I'd recognize more of them, but the rest of them aren't as notable. Let's see... Okay, Zombieland Saga. I know a little bit about that. Okay, Shigeru Kamada from... Demon Slayer, which, I mean, that's a fairly bit part, all things considered. And uh, another one who I don't quite recognize. Relatively new. Almost 10 years in the industry. Hmm, okay. It's still a nice voice, about what I kind of expected, honestly. Like, this is a voice that I'm just like, yeah, that's about right. I'm controlling the temperature of the island itself from its soil. You bastards don't look familiar to me. <laughs> <laughs> she she speaks kind of like Chopper, honestly. There she is. A girl? More than anything. She's huge. What's with this child? What's with this <laughs> cranky lost child? She's bigger than Gaido. Though I don't know who you are. The temperature is comfy here, so stick around. I'm on my way to work, so let me through. Hey, big one, I'm hungry. You made that fake parfait, didn't you? Oh, if you're hungry, you must be a holo holo too. Oh, look. <laughs> what? I hit her. Is she real? Cut that, I hit her, is she real crap? <laughs> yep, what are you doing, you idiot? <laughs> hit it with the right hook. Actually, no, that was her left, wasn't it? Oh, baby girl is very real. Oh, the hamburger option has been it. <laughs> and just immediately back to nice. Like, don't make her angry. Hamburger. Oh, even comes with fries. And a Vega Cola. Uh, you can keep the tomatoes. Is it real? The texture. The smell! A hamburger served with drink and fries! It is real! It isn't a holo holo! Can I touch it? Can I eat it? Oh, yummy! This is real! What? Who made it? Wasn't it this thing? It's not a person? He pushed the button and it came out! It is! As long as we can get food, push the next one! Alright! <laughs> Again, all sharing the same brain cell. Steak omelet with rice, pork cutlet. Hey. Next. And candy pizza. Can candy cake. No pizza. I'll choose first. Ramen, fried chicken, and a hot dog. <sighs> this is starting to make me hungry. Wait, if you push them at once, they might all be served at once. You're smart. You're smart, chopper. Your cowboy doesn't make me happy. <laughs> Jimmy, choose one too. I'm okay. Oh, no, 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 no. Just, um, 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 um. <laughs> Oh, you eat a lot. Well, to come from Luffy, that really says something. When Luffy's like, bro, slow down a little. It's like, who the hello, Pot? Why are you calling the kettle black? Of course, I was hungry the whole time. Me too. Me too. Me too. I'm glad that they like it. <laughs> <laughs> she went straight back to being nice after cold clocking Luffy. <laughs> Oh, man. What's going on? What is that thing? Do you want to know? <laughs> it's an automated cooking machine. As long as there are ingredients, they can prepare 500 different dishes within a minute. Oh, man. The leftover ingredients are auto mode and it's particularly handy. <laughs> Jinbei! I thought you didn't want anything, Jinbei. <laughs> if only we could build it according to the blueprints, but due to a lack of technicians, we can't mass produce it. The island they see is the same. If, if we cannot control the temperature of the whole island, we can also pinpoint all living creatures on it. I've invented such a wonderful thing, but the circumstances around me haven't kept up with the value. If I had more money to spend, I could even control the weather. The world lacks technology and funds. I'm working so hard to invent things, why is this happening? <laughs> there she goes! Damn it! Dave! There aren't enough resources! <laughs> 
he punched a hologram by shrimp. Waffle <laughs> did not even pay attention. Dang. And that's why she's my favorite. <laughs> I feel better. How's that possible? How did you punch a hologram? Do you want to know? I'll tell you. <laughs> I feel like that's almost her catchphrase. Do you want to know? I'll tell you. Uh, she just loves to explain things. With these light pressure gloves, light is no longer something you can just see. Oh, hi. <laughs> Materialize someone to high five. Oh, right. That's who she high fives in the opening. Wait, wasn't that person like smaller? I could have sworn the person she materialized to high five was smaller. Huh. Weird. Who ever sees something as an object when you touch it? Hey, so she isn't real? Real? Oh, Lucy, look out. <laughs> Just waves. So she wasn't real. I thought she was real. Don't ask me if something is real or not. You decide what's real and what's not. Even the world real is an old-fashioned concept to me. This is yummy. Are you listening? Who in the world are you? Introduce yourself. Me? I'm only a genius scientist for hire. <laughs> I love that! Dr. Vegapunk. Dr. Vegapunk 05 Atlas. Hey, uh, you're Dr. Vegapunk? Kobe told me about you. You're too big and too young. No way. What is she talking about? Yes, what is she talking about? Why are there so many punks? This episode was so much fun. <laughs> Oh, the chapters where this all happened were fun in and of themselves too, but oh man, the introduction to all these punks. All these punks, baby. Ah, oh, this was good. This was actually really good. This is did this really only cover like one chapter? Yeah. Oh my god, even less so than that. But that's the thing too. People criticize the anime for covering so little so often. But the thing is, Oda packs so much into one chapter that I can really understand why they kind of condense things to a certain bit. So I'm not as critical as long as you make the episode fun. And this was plenty fun. This was less than a chapter and this was a ton of fun. But the introduction of all these punks, Atlas, Shaka, Lilith, and they all have such fun personalities and great design. Tell me, Robin, Choppers, I want to learn more, ya fool. Hey guys, I'm Chopper, the ship's doctor of the straw hats. I'm Robin, an archaeologist. Robin, I can't wait to learn as always. Information can be a strong weapon. Let's keep learning. Yeah, today we learn about this one, Dr. Vegapunk. <laughs> that silhouette does not look like any of the people we've been introduced to. I wonder why. The government's genius scientist who is said to have the biggest brain in the world. He is from the future land of Baltimore. I know that country, that's where Kuma sent Frankie. That's right. Frankie was impressed by his research material. I can't believe these are all from his younger days. There are a lot of ideas that would need a couple hundred years to be implemented fully. After Dr. Vegapunk left Baltimore, he became part of a research team Mads along with Caesar and Vince Moat Judge. And he discovered the bloodline elements with living things. It was just one step away from usurping God's place because it was akin to discovering the blueprints of life. In addition, he created a warship covered with sea prism stone and artificial devil fruit and established the technique of enabling objects to eat the devil fruit. He has a lot of accomplishments. Maybe he'll make some amazing adventures in the field of medicine. Several Vegapunks with different appearances and ages turned up, deepening the mystery. That's it for this week. See you next time. Bye. <sighs> I'm so glad to be here for this because reading it in the manga. Wano was fun. Don't get me wrong. Wano was great. Few things yeah, I wish had happened that didn't happen, but for the most part, I really love Wano. Egghead surpasses everything. <laughs> it surpasses everything and almost all things. Egghead is on its way to becoming one of my all-time favorite story arcs, just because of all the things that happen throughout it. Both on and off the island of Egghead, just my god. It's just, go over here, banger, go over here, banger, go over here, banger. It's just banger after banger after banger. It is peak. It is peak. I'm just reveling in the earlier moments before all of everything drops. Just everything drops. I mean, if you couldn't tell from the opening, oh man, you about to see some crazy-ish. And I'm here for it. I am here for it. The anime is doing a great job. It is, ugh. And there's also time of recording the monster special that should be coming up as well. And I can't wait for more of the One Piece live action and oh man. And then the One Piece. So wondering what that's gonna be like. Maybe it'll be like a seasonal thing? I wonder. Ah oh, man. I mean, it'll never replace the original in my heart because I know people say that you know, the 
One Piece anime is slow, but it's only around like Dressrosa that it felt the most painfully slow to me. Dressrosa is one of the few situations where I would back off, wait a couple of episodes, and then catch back up. Because they got silly with the pacing of Dressrosa. And even a little bit in Whole Cake Island, but Whole Cake Island and even before that, Punk Hazard, they weren't as bad. At least not in my perspective. But let me know your thoughts on this episode in the comment section below. So far, who's your favorite punk? I mean, Shaka's cool, Lilith is fun, but Atlas is just has the most going on. And I don't think they outright stated it, but I, I don't think I'd be wrong to just putting it out there. Atlas is the violence, which, I mean, <laughs> given, <laughs> given her need to punch Luffy and the hologram dragon creature, I mean, yeah, it's pretty on the nose. But, yeah. Atlas is my favorite. But again, let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. Like, comment, subscribe if you enjoyed the ride. And until next time, I've been Deuce This Den. Thank you so much for watching and hope to see you in the next one. Till then, bye bye. <laughs>